Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I've made guacamole before, but I don't think I've made this particular one. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put my thing down so you can see. Hi, sweetie. Good to see you. And I decided instead of putting it in a bowl, hi, Vanita, but I'm going to do everything in my manual food processor because you can make guacamole in here. Right now I have, I didn't really measure it out. I'm great. Uh, two tablespoons of chopped onion. I didn't really chop it real fine because in here it'll take care of it anyway. So, need two tablespoons of onion, um, a half a lemon. I'm going to juice half a lemon here, and I've got, I've got. This is not a Pampered Chef citrus press, but I've, um, I've had it for a while, and I thought I'm just going to go ahead and use it. It does a good job of getting everything out of it. See how much it really got? Really got a lot out. I just had to make sure I cut cut some of the sides down and, and um, made sure I, I could get it all in here. Welcome to everybody that's coming in and thank you for coming in and sharing this out. I could probably get a little bit more out. I really gotta work hard to get the lemon out of here. There we go. I don't think I can get any more. I'm gonna throw this away. Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. Hi, welcome to everybody coming in. Let me go ahead and share this out while I'm thinking about it before I get started here. Let me go ahead and share this out. Whoops, I didn't I did the wrong thing here. I need to go share it out. Um, there we go. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and share it on Facebook and Twitter, as I always do. Because you never, never know, there might be people on Facebook and Twitter that might want to come in. Um, and if you see anybody, my moderators, if you see anybody coming in that's derogatory, please take care of them because I don't always see them. So, um, okay, now, I've done that. Um, and I'm going to hurry up because this doesn't have a lot of life left in my iPad, but I have it on here. So, and a half a teaspoon of salt. This doesn't have but one, two, three, four, five. Half a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of, plus your avocado. I'm going to put my half a teaspoon of salt in here. And uh, let's see where I had that. Well, here it is. I already had it set out. Um, and I'll go put my avocados in here. I've already got them um, opened up and got the got the uh, pits removed. And these I just got yesterday, and they're very, very ripe. And then two tablespoons of olive oil. I'll put this in there, and then I'll put my avocado in there. And I just wanted to use this because I figured this is probably going to ma mash it up a lot better than I could in a in a on, in a bowl. Because this is meant for that, too. Let me go ahead and put this back. Now, now I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to go ahead and scoop this, scoop the avocado meat out of here. I know a lot of people don't care for avocados, but I have learned to like them. I really have because they are so freaking good. They really are. And like I said, these are, these are just got these yesterday. And these, I was having a hard time trying to find some that were too ripe. You don't want them real, real ripe, but you don't want ones that are grass green either because they have a little ripening to go. But these were, you can see that the skin is pretty dark. If you can push in on it, like my daughter-in-law told me, if you can push in on it at all, it's ripe enough to, to uh, use. Welcome to... Hi, Alexis. I see you're finally in here. I'm going to use the manual food processor for, the, processor for this instead of a bowl. And I'll tell you what I've got in here as soon as I get, get it all done. I figure this manual food processor will do it just as well as I could do it in a bowl. I don't have to mash it up that way. Let me go ahead and throw these in the garbage.
Oh, yeah. I happen to like avocados. I've been eating avocados for quite, quite a while now. I love avocados. They're really good. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, it's going to look pretty good, but I'll just get down here and I'll... You can always... And I'm not going to add anything to extra this, but you can take and add, like, if you want to put tomatoes in it or whatever. I thought this would do as good a job as I could put mixing it in a bowl. And this has to go into a... And this has to go into a container or a bowl, and they said you have to... For about an hour, you have to cover it in a bowl for an hour before you can serve it. So I will do that as well. So I'm going to leave it out until I until I get down with my periscope so you can see it. I'll go ahead and shut this off. I've got everything in there. Uh, this, like I said, this is not from Pampered Chef. I just happened to buy this at Walmart a while back. This is a really good job. Okay, now you can see this is what it looks like. Oh, is that one of the first tools you bought? I see that you're in here too early. And thank you to everybody that's come in. Now I'm going to get a bowl out and I'm going to put that in there. I got some, I got some bowls for Christmas, so I'm going to use these because they all got lids to them. I won't need a very big bowl. That's not big enough. I think this one will work. These are too small. the lid separate so I know that's not the right one. I think it's this green one. Nope, that's not the right one either. I think it's, oh here it is, yellow I think. Gotta make sure I get the right lid for the right, oh okay there, that's the work. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get this out. Clean this off. Put it in the sink. Be careful with this. This is very, very sharp. It's kind of but the oil and everything is kind of wants to slip out of my hands, but I'm going to clean it off the best I can. Okay. Now I'm going to put it in here. This is a good bowl to put it in. Like I said, before I can even... Which I'm not going to use this right away, anyway, but I do have tortilla chips that I like, that I like to dip my um, dip in the guacamole. And I'll just put use the tortilla chips and um, okay, there. Simple as that. Doesn't this look good? Look at that. It's all made, and it's very, very simple to make. Very, very simple, and it's going to taste. And now let me go before I can't. I know I can't serve it, but I'm going to get a little, um, just one tortilla chip. What did you add to the avocado? Okay, Missy. Um, I, I I've got to. I'll have to turn this back on because I, I turned it off because this, the battery was getting low on my on my iPad, so I didn't want to. Um, it's going to pop up. Okay, it's got two avocados. Um, half a, a lemon juiced, two tablespoons of chopped onion, one half teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of olive oil. That's what this. Th that's all that's in here. And you can, if you want to, you can add tomatoes to it or to it's whatever you choose to do. I'm gonna put this up just a little bit. And you can add um, tomatoes to it or whatever you choose. It's totally up to you. Um, that's it. That's it. That's all. It, look, doesn't that look good? You're craving guacamole now, Missy? <laughs> let me go get a tortilla chip and I'll try it. I know I can't really serve it yet, but I'll, let me go get a tortilla chip and I'll see how good it is. <laughs> These are honking big tortilla chips. Mmm, 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 
This is to die for. Mmm. This is to die for. I think anybody would love this. You don't have to be vegan to like it either. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to pull me back a little bit. I look like I'm ready to hug the camera. There, you can see this better that way. Wow, this is to die for. Mm. Very simple. Yes, half a lemon juice, yes. Okay, two, two avocados. Okay, I get this. Oops, I, I didn't, didn't want to do that. I got to go back and get it. It became okay. Two avocados, one half a lemon juice, um, two tablespoons of chopped onion, one half teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of olive oil. That is all that is in this. Doesn't it look good? Like I said, you don't have to be a vegan to even like this. This is delicious. And I know I'm supposed to put it in the refrigerator before I serve it, but I can't resist. It's so good. Mm. This is a real good snack. See how much it made? And it's, it's so good. Um... Oh, I never, oh, cucumber avocado salsa. Oh, my goodness. Are you going to try it? Oh, good. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you do. A lot of people don't care for avocados, but they are so good for you. Um, and what Erlene's thing sounds amazing, too. My goodness, it really does. It really, really does. Oh, good. Well, I'm going to post this up on Facebook because I want people to try it. I'm pull this back a little bit so you can see it. Um because I want people to try it. It's simple enough to make. Mm. Yeah. And you know, the less ingredients in anything, the better. When I saw this, I thought, oh, with five ingredients? Oh, my goodness. Hi, Alexis. Good to see you. Long time no see. I made some guacamole, and so I got five ingredients to it. Um, it's got well, it's got two avocados. It's got half a lemon juiced. Um. Two tablespoons of chopped onion, a half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of olive oil. That's all it has in it. And But you can always, if you want to make it yourself and you want to add onion to, or you know, not more onion, or you want to add tomatoes to it or anything you can. But I like it just the way it is. Is it, doesn't this look good? Look at that. Nice and pretty green. Oh, you just downloaded Periscope? Well, I'm glad you did it, Lexus. Oh. Huh. Oh yeah, lots of onion. Did you like the ketchup? Was that did you like it, Erlene? Um, like, um oh, when people people were asking about now if you weren't in here yesterday, these are my these are the muffins I made yesterday. I had one yesterday after I got off a of periscope and I had one for breakfast this morning. These things are to die for. They are absolutely delicious. So if you didn't see my periscope from yesterday where I did the uh vegan chocolate banana muffins feel free to go in there and watch that because it's still up and i've got the recipe posted on my facebook group and it is so good uh oh oh good Arlene, good well you know i got a condiment condiment bottle for my ketchup and i i use it almost every day and when i'm eating sandwiches and stuff it's so good because i've got some through amazon so i decided to um, it had a funnel with it, so I put it in the condiment bottle. I'll show you. It's, a, it's cute. Um, isn't this isn't this cute? I think six come in a package. This is really cute, um, and and it works. I, and I don't even have to mark this because all I got is ketchup in it, but it works so great. And I've got this cap, uh, cap on here, and I just take the cap. I thought I was going to have to uh, cut the hole into this or make this hole bigger, but it comes right out. Um, Oh, you used to be a, a Pampered Chef distributor? We have one in here now that um, she was in here, Alexis Candu. She is a consultant. Um, we're sure glad to see you, Alexis. I've been so worried about you, not been on lately. Um, yeah. Somebody had mentioned it to me when I did my ketchup the other day. They says, well, how, you could put a con get a condiment bottle. Well, they have them on Amazon. There was a, I kept six of them coming. Not that I'm going to use all six, but... Um, oh, well, we know that he's going to do that, Alexis. Yep, he loves to attack his, uh, the Christians. We know that. But I'm glad you came back on. I really do. I'm glad, because I do these periscopes every day, and, and you can watch some of them again, Alexis, like a, 
my muffins I did yesterday with carob chips and bananas. I put them in my convection oven here and they really turned out good. So you can watch my cooking scopes because that's what I've been doing lately. <clears throat> but this is so good, this guacamole. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how good this is. And I'm going to, like I said, after I get off of here, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and uh, chill it for an hour before I serve it. But I just wanted to try it. It is so good. Um... Okay. Oh, good, good. Um, Alexis, <clears throat> um, she is on Facebook. Um, she's not, I think she left right now, but she might come back on. Or she may be listening too, I don't know. But she, Alexis can do. She has her own Facebook page, Pampered Chef. She's a consultant. And uh, I just finished up a, a party on Monday, Alexis. The, the, um because I was a, a host for a party that just, just, uh, oh, here driving home, okay, that I just, just finished up on Monday. It started on the, on the 17th or 18th and finished up on Monday. Um, and I was able to get some free items, able to get some half-priced items. So as soon as I get those, I will go ahead and, and unbox those for you too. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yes, Alexis. Alexis is always on before I get up in the morning because I'm here in the state of Oregon. And since she's in Georgia, she's three hours ahead of me. So I'm sound asleep at that time. But after I get up, get dressed, take my shower, what have you, or take my shower first and get dressed, of course, and read my Bible. Then I, then I check her Periscope out and I, and I, I watch her replay. Um, she's got very interesting replays. And, uh, like I said, she will come on sometimes on the weekend. Sometimes she comes on Sunday. She did Sunday night. She will sometimes come on in the evenings, you know, and I get to watch her then. But during the week, I can't watch her because she comes on at 3.15 my time. Well, I'm not awake at 3.15 my time unless I have to take the dogs out, let them out to go to the bathroom. And they're not always up then either. But, um, oh, yeah, she's got a lot, lot, a lot of replays. I try to keep up with every one of them. I... I watched, like I said, I watched the one from this morning. It was a good one, too. She always has good good replays. I was, she took some uh, cinnamon stuff and, and, do, and made it like French toast on the on the double grill bur, boy, a burner, or double burner grill. What time is it now? It, where I live here, it is now um, 2, 2.20. 2.20 where I live, because I'm three hours behind um, Alexis. So it's 2.20 here right now. Um, and we're having uh, lots of rain. It was just pouring down rain before I came in here. It kind of stopped right now, but it was been pouring down rain. But anyway, I like to come on every day and, and show you how to make things using Pampered Chef tools um, because I love Pampered Chef. I've got quite a few tools. Um, I like the quick cooker. I've been using uh, that quick cooker a lot to make different things. Um, and I'm real happy that Erlene's going to get one. She's been uh, using a rock crock, and, and now she's finally going to get a, a <laughs> get her, her uh, quick cooker. For those coming in, Ivanita, good to see you. There is my guacamole. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Welcome to Periscope for the very first time. Doesn't that look good? It's, it's very, very simple to make. Two, two avocados, a half a lemon juice, and you got half a teaspoon of salt. Um... You got, uh, let's see, I have to, and it's uh, olive oil. I'll have to go back in here, and I, I shut this off because I want to conserve the battery in here. Um, I'm going to go back. Here it is. Uh, two avocados, a half a lemon juice, two um, tablespoons of uh, min, uh, chopped onion, one half teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, and it's just simple enough to make. So that, and I thought I would make this because, uh, <laughs> good way to take out your frustration. That's right. Well, for this, for this guacamole, I decided to use the manual food processor instead of mixing it all up in a bowl. I thought, well, the manual food processor is good for making guacamole. So I just stuck everything in the manual food processor and look, how, look at a good job it did on it. Um, thank you for the super hearts, Vanita. It, and I didn't have my onion chopped up real fine because I didn't want to get the food chopper out. I thought, well, if I'm going to put it in the manual food chopper, it's going to chop it up anyway. And it did. You can't see any onion bits in there at all. It did a real good job. This has to go in the refrigerator for an hour if I can serve it. But I've been trying. I've been, 
I've been eating I've been eating it with my with my tortilla chips because I love tortilla chips so that and this is good. Mm. Sorry I'm eating in front of you, but it's so good. I think the whole idea is his chilling it is so good. All the taste of your everything comes together. Your onion, your lemon juice, and everything, your salt all comes together and gives you a good flavor of your guacamole. Um I never have been a fan of guacamole, but if I can make it myself, I'm going to start making it a lot more. This is a simple one to make. I love it. Um, yeah, so do I. And the avocados I bought were really ripe. Mm. Oh, yeah. You can use this uh, for for uh, tortilla chips, whatever you want to use it for, corn chips, tortilla chips. I, I've been buying tortilla chips, trying to get organic ones. And this is a... This is, makes a very good snack, a real good snack. Um, and I haven't been fixing any lately, and I thought, well, I want to fix this because it's simple enough, you know. And uh, I like making my own foods because I know what's in them. When you buy stuff at the store, you notice those uh, you notice those cupcakes coming out on the hearts because I've got the uh, and Alexa told me how to, told me this that you put year four. Um, hashtag year four, you get cupcakes because yesterday was Periscope's birthday. So since they're in year four, I decided to put year four down on there on a hashtag and now I get cupcakes for hearts. I noticed that that Alexis had those this morning. Anyway, I love coming in here and making different foods because it's so much fun trying to find different recipes. Um, some are good, some are not. I've had some that they looked good to me and by the time I got them made, they just weren't as great as I thought they were going to be. I don't know why, but there was like there was something missing or something. Hi, Nikki. Good to see you. Welcome. Here's my guacamole. Um, no, um, I have made a spice, one, one Indian spice. I don't know if I made it on here or not. Um, I do have it up in my cupboard, however. What is, I don't know where it's at right now. I'd have to go look for it. But it was an Indian spice. Um, hi, good to see you. Welcome. But I really don't make too much. Um, I'm not saying I'm against it or anything. I just, you know, I make a lot of American food. But I can make Indian food if I want to. If it looks good to me, I will. Um, but that's. But there again, um, I don't like anything real, real spicy. Um, this... Uh, well, I haven't used that spice yet, so I haven't tried it, so I don't know. Um, if you ask about this guacamole, this is not spicy. Um, not spicy at all. It's got lemon juice in it, which gives it a you know more of a tangy flavor. Once it's been in the refrigerator for an hour or so and, is, and can serve it, then it'll be really good. Um, oh, that's true. It can make things mild. Right. I do have, like I said, I do have the spice. I don't know where it's at right now. But it's a spice that I made a while back um, that I've garum... Uh, well, I don't remember what the name of it is. I haven't got my, my book with me right now. Um, but just take a bunch of spices and put together to make it an Indian spice. Um, no, I don't like spicy either. Um, oh, I know. Isn't guacamole go? Yes, it is. Garam, that's what it's called. Garam masala. Yes, but I can't find that from my cupboard right now. I don't know. I put it in a special place. Yes, I did make that, but I haven't tried it yet. So I don't know. But it was simple enough to make. Yeah. And that's the only one I've really made, but... I'm not against uh, making um, making anything that's, you know, not American if I want to. Um, uh, oh, tumor. Yeah, okay. It probably does. I just don't remember what I put in it. Um, oh, you can use it in your dishes? Oh, good, Erlene. Well, I haven't used it yet. Um, I'll probably find something where I can put it into it, you know. But I've got it made. I just haven't used it. But I like, I've got, I made a taco seasoning a while back, and that's on my Periscope. A, a taco, yeah, a taco seasoning, which you can make your own versus buying it. Um, I, I've made different seasonings. Um, my quick cooker, I've made several things in my quick cooker. I've done applesauce on here. I did a couple soups on here. I just did a white bean soup the other day with great northern beans. There's one that I love the best, and that's red lentil spinach soup which, oh, that thing is to die for. I'll make that one again. Like I said, there are some recipes that I've made that I won't make again, but that one is good. Um, oh, good, good, yeah. Okay, and salt, okay. 
Well, I don't eat chicken, but I can probably put it on other stuff. Welcome to Periscope for the very first time. Because I don't eat any meat or I don't eat any dairy. I don't eat cheese or eat eggs. Um, oh, you did. You made red. Oh, wow. Red lentils. Oh, I didn't know you could make them. Well, I bought some that's organic. The store I shop at, Kroger's, had red lentils. So I bought some red lentils and made a red lentil spinach soup. Oh, it was so good. It was real. Oh, it's called. Oh, I've heard that. I wondered. I wondered what that was made from. I've seen people do this on Periscope, and I did not know what it was. Now I do. Um, and I, I'm, I'm glad that you told me. Because, oh, there it looks like there's a bot. I'll take care of that one. If somebody doesn't want to get it, I'll, I'll block them. I'll block them. There we go. Um, I'm, I, I didn't know. I didn't know what that was, what it had in it. And I thought, well, that's an unusual name. Um. Uh, Okay, I know I've seen I've seen a scope here on on Periscope before. And like I said, I didn't know what it was or what it had in it. Now I do red lentils, isn't that something? But like I said, I bought the lentils at Kroger's that were organic, and I did not know this until I started cooking in my quick cooker that the red lentils turn yellow. It, it made a very pretty soup, a very pretty soup. I did not know that turns yellow. Um, Oh, cool, cool. How long have I been vegan? Over two years, but to, to know the exact amount, I really don't know. Um, I, it's, it's been, I, I started out at 250 and I'm under 250, I'm under 200 right now. Um, and it's hard to maintain the weight because it wants to fluctuate up and down, but I'm trying to do the best I can. What I'm trying to do is try to eat my lunches early enough. So if I fix something for a lunch or something, I can save it for the next day or something because I want to fix my eat my lunches early because if I start eating too late, then then I have a problem and I want to put the weight back on. So I've been trying to eat my lunches by noon or 12.30, get them out of the way. Then when I come in here, I can make, you know, like desserts or, or anything like a, a spice or a dip like I did today. Um, oh, yes, right, right, right. Well, I try to only eat two meals a day because um, I don't want to put the weight back on. As I, I, it took me long enough to get it off, and I don't want to put it back on. Oh, thank you. You know, and, and it was a struggle at first because I didn't. I kept saying, "Can I really do this? Do I? Will I make? Will I lose the weight?" But I finally did. It. You know, I didn't put it on overnight, and I'm not going to take it off overnight either. I just kept working at it and working at it and working at it. And I finally got myself down to a manageable size. Even fat, my clothes are even smaller. Um, it it just takes time. Um, mm. So we have to get. The, oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. It sure does. It sure does. Um, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care too much for black pepper though. Early, and I suppose if I could make my own, it'd be fine. But um, oh, oh yes. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of things that's hard for people to give up, like their their sodas, um, uh, you know, and stuff that they're they're used to eating. You know, because we know that cancer loves a lot of sugar and stuff. You know, but uh, it is hard. It is hard. Uh, oh, it makes an egg flavor. Oh, good, good. Um, oh, you're from India. Oh, wonderful. I, you know, I've got people here from all over. You know, and I appreciate each and every one of you because. When, when you come in here and I come in here, I don't have to talk to myself. I can, I can see your icons at the bottom and I can talk to you. And I know there are people on the other end of, the, of this Periscope watching me. I don't want to talk to myself, although <laughs> when I'm not on Periscope, I do talk to myself. Sometimes I answer myself. I don't win the argument, though. <laughs> uh, oh, she's your Perry sister? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, Alexis is really a nice lady. Um, she called me yesterday um, in the afternoon because she wanted my credit card information for the uh, order that I, I, I just placed through Pampered Chef because I was a host. And she's a wonderful lady to talk to. Um, if you've never talked to her on the phone, um, she's so great. Um, she is a doll. Yes, she certainly is. And we're talking about you, Alexis. I hope you, your ears are not burning, but we're talking about you. <laughs> Yep, we're talking about her, but she she is. She's a wonderful lady. I've talked to her several times. The first time she called me, I did not know she had a Pennsylvania number, so I ended up hanging up on her. I thought, well, this is 
a scam call. Well, she finally called me back, and then I realized it was it was her, and I talked to her. So then I put her on my on my phone list. I felt so bad that I that I didn't take her call, but we talked for quite a while, and uh, she is so pleasant to talk to, and I really enjoy it. You know, I figured that she would be calling me about my credit card information to get my um, Pampered Chef order out. She did submit all the orders yesterday or last night for the Pampered Chef. So everybody that ordered should have gotten an email uh, as to that your order has been submitted. So, um, and once that, that, once that order comes, whenever it'll be sometime, probably next week, I suppose, um, then I'll do an unboxing again. I don't have as much coming as I did back in January, but I still have enough. So, and I'm thankful for that. I got three half price items and I think I had four, um, items that I've got free. So I still did pretty good. Um, oh, it was late when you submitted it. Oh, that's okay, Alexis. Um, at least I got an email on it. So that said that, that I did, I did get an email on it saying it was submitted. So I know it's going to be, take them some time because I got to get everything boxed up and get it shipped out. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Here is my, um, guacamole. Um, <laughs> I got a, a tortilla chip here and I've been, I've been, I've been slowly eating on this cause it's really, really good. Um, it has to be in the refrigerator to, 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 um, actually set up or get, get, uh, um, you know, cold, but I'm just eating a little bit this way. It's so good. Ah, mm. ah. Oh, man. Mm hmm. This is real good. Two avocados is the main, main thing. Half a lemon, half a lemon, um, juiced, two tablespoons of, um, uh, onion. You have half a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of olive oil. I, I finally remembered what's in here and that's all that's in here. And those that have the manual food processor from Pampered Chef, you know what that is. So I decided, well, instead of getting my food chopper out, I'll just put it in the manual food processor and make it. And it come out real good. You don't see any chunks of anything in here. It did a real good job. Um, and this is really, really good. And I will post this up on Facebook. And I'm going to take a picture of it, of course. And, but I've got to... Um, I'm hoping that people will make it. And uh, like I said, if you weren't in here yesterday, these are my muffins I made yesterday on Periscope. I've had two already. These things are so good. They are just marvelous. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I get a lot of new people on here, so if I don't recognize somebody that comes in here, um, I do apologize because I get a lot of new users on here and it's hard to remember everybody. Um, um, but anyway, I like to come down here and I like to make my own foods. You know why? Because I know what's in them. Have you ever checked the ingredients on things that you buy in the store? If you haven't, I suggest you you take the time to look at the ingredients in, on the packaging in the store. You'd be surprised how many chemicals there are um, because there are way too many chemicals and you don't know where those chemicals come from. They're, uh, they're very, very dangerous. And at least when you make your own food, you know exactly what you have in it. Of course, anything that we make here at home is not a pre don't have preservatives in them because a lot of the chemicals that they use in the stores, those have preservatives in them. So they'll last a lot longer, but at least mine only has five ingredients in it. This guacamole. Hi, good to see you. Oh, yes, it is a long time. Good to see you. Here is my here is my guacamole. Doesn't this look good? Uh, I know. It is very scary. I will tell you that. Um, stuff that you should be putting in your body. You know what I always say? If you can't pronounce it, don't put it in your body. And I won't put it in my body because if I can't, can't pronounce it, I don't want to bother with it. Um, so I I would rather make my own. And that's why Alexis makes her own too because she knows exactly what's in it. Um, if, you, you know, you watch her scopes enough, you see makes, she makes stuff every day, Monday through Friday. And sometimes she comes in on the weekends and makes a lot of food. She knows exactly what's in there. Well, she may follow a recipe, but she knows exactly what's in there. Because she's not buying the stuff out of the store. She's making it herself so she, she knows exactly what she put in it. That's why I like to do this. 
This has five ingredients. You can't go wrong. It's got avocados in it. It's got onions. It's got salt. It's got lemon juice and olive oil. That's all this has in it. That's it. You Plain and simple. And, and mix it up in the food processor, um, the manual food processor, and it just made it absolutely fantastic. It looks good. It's a pretty green. I love the green color. And it's real hard to get the... Your um, avocado is really, really ripe, but I happen to get them real ripe. No, it doesn't have any garlic in it. Um, not not, not any at all. Um, I suppose if you wanted to make it yourself, you could put garlic in it if you wanted to. But no, there's no garlic in here. There's two, <clears throat> two avocados, a half a lemon juice, a half a teaspoon of salt, um, two, uh, tablespoon of, two tablespoons of olive oil, and I can't remember what the other one was. But it's it's so it is so good. I mean, this is really really good. I'm gonna post it up on on Facebook and uh, put the recipe up there too, so you know what's in there. I mean, it's very simple to make. And the avocados, um, it's hard to get ones that are really really ripe. You don't want them too ripe, but yet you don't want them um, where they're green, grass green. But I got these just ripe. Um, yeah, you can you can add tomatoes to it if you want to. Absolutely, they said you could add anything to it you want. Cucumbers, exactly. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Maybe the next time I make it off camera, I'll add some tomatoes and stuff to it. But you can add anything to it that you want. Um, oh, so, well, cilantro. Yeah, good, Alexis. Although a cilantro is like, like Laura says, she says it tastes like toilet water. Cilantro is hard to get used to. I don't care for the taste of cilantro bat really well. Um, oh, olives. Or feta cheese or goat cheese. Well, I don't eat goat cheese or feta cheese because I don't eat cheese at all. Um, olives might be okay. Um, I could have put tomato in here. Um, how about garlic? It didn't call for garlic, but you can put garlic in here if you want to, I would think. There should be no problem with that. Make it your own. Um, uh, yeah. Um, you make this your own. They're not set in stone. Um, you know, no recipe. Ha no recipe is set in stone. So you tweak it to your liking, make it the way you want. Now, I made this just the way what the recipe called for. Um, but then maybe the next time I make it, I'll just, uh, uh, yeah, it has onion. It has two tablespoons of onion in it. Two tablespoons of onion, um, lemon juice in it. That's what it has in it. Um, it has a half a, half a lemon, two, two avocados, a half a teaspoon of salt. Um, your, and your, like I said, your, oh, I gotta look at that again. I'm, I'm missing one ingredient and I can't figure out, I can't remember what that ingredient is. I'm missing. I don't understand. I keep forgetting. I should remember what it is, but I don't. Let me go back here and I'll get this for you. Uh, I'll get, get in there and I'll tell you exactly what it has in it because it's, it's on that page. Okay. Um, yeah, it's got li lemon. It's got your avocado, your lemon, um, chopped onion, uh, salt. That's what it has in it. I forgot. It's got two tablespoons of chopped onion and two tablespoons of olive oil. And you have a teaspoon of salt and a half a lemon juice and two avocados. So I'm, and I keep forgetting that chopped onion. Um, that's true. That's true. Um, you're right. Um, but like I said, this doesn't have garlic in it. But if you want to make it yourself and you want to add garlic to it, you could add as much garlic as you want. Garlic is good for you. Um, you could add as, as much as you want or as little as you want, but it didn't call for garlic. So, um, I don't think I've ever, I've made guacamole before, but I don't think it ever called for garlic that I know of. It always a lemon juice or lime juice and your onions and that, but I don't think it's ever called for, for a garlic. But you could feel free to put it in there if you want to. Like I said, it's not set in stone. If you want to put it in there and make it your own, go right ahead. Tweak it the way you like it. That's what I do. And I know Alexis does the same thing. Sometimes she has to tweak the recipe a little bit. You do it, the, you do it what suits you. Or what your family likes. Because you may like something totally different than your family does. Or somebody else. So you have to make it what suits you and make it... Um, oh, you like Mexican foods too? I, I eat a few of those. I eat some Chinese foods too. I used to anyway. But you make it any way that you want. With the spices that you want in it. Um, if you don't want to put onion in, you can put, maybe put onion salt or onion powder. Or you can put uh, minced onion or whatever. But I happen to have onion in the, and I need to use some of them, so I thought, well, I'll just, you know, cut, cut it up, and, and uh, yeah. No, I don't care for cayenne. That's really strong. <laughs> oh, you like fried rice? 
You know, um, I began to like rice. It is an acquired taste. I really haven't liked rice all that much, but it, but I, I can eat it. I did make a while back a brown rice pilaf that, you, that made in the quick cooker, and it was really good. I hesitated at first making it. I thought, would I really like it? But it was delicious. It was really, really good. Um, Chinese fried rice is small is in small moderation, right? Everything is in small moderation. I say you don't want to overdo. Um, you want to be careful, um, especially when it comes to spices like your cumin and your turmeric. Um, You've got to be very careful with those because those are very, very spicy. And I've actually put too much cumin and turmeric in my stuff already. And oh my goodness, it's hard to eat it. So you got to be, you really got to be careful. And those I weigh out or measure out carefully. I've known people have tried to do it without measuring them out. But you're bound to determine to get too much if you don't measure it out. So I just like to measure out out my own, I think that's a bot. This one is a bot. Let's get this one out of here. Let's see, I think this one here is a, yeah, that's a bot. Uh, yeah, that's a bot, I'll block it. Um, so you have to be very careful. I know some people, you watch their YouTube video and they don't measure this stuff out. I can't do that. I have to measure stuff out because you're sure shooting. If I don't measure something out, I'm gonna end up putting too much in and I don't like that, you know. So I wanna make sure I measure it out precisely and put enough in it that I need, you know, and not too much. It's real easy to put too much. Misread the recipe and maybe put a lot more in than it calls for. I think I did that one time on the turmeric. I read the I read the ingredient wrong. I read the amount wrong and put too much in there. Oh my goodness. Oh that well, I couldn't even get it down. It was so bad. So I thought, well, I've got to be careful and read it right the next time because it's real easy to make that mistake and put the Put, put the wrong amount in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Um, cumin, coriander. Mm, gar oh, okay. Garam masala, turmeric. All India spices. Okay. Yes, I use a lot of cumin. I use, a tum I use turmeric um, and quite a bit. Yeah, it is bitter. It is very bitter, but it's also strong, too, and so is cumin. So when I when I put those in, my recipe, in the recipes when it calls for it, if they say like a half a teaspoon of cumin or whatever, that's all I put in, no more, because you don't want to overdo. Um, yes, you have to use very, well, I have measuring spoons. Everybody knows that I have, now these are the, some of the measuring spoons. This is a, a six, and these are also, goes from a tablespoon down to a quarter of a teaspoon. I like these too. Fits right, real well in the spice bottles. I use these a lot too, as long uh, and I use the adjustable spoons as well. Everybody knows about the adjustable spoons. Right now, I I think they're all dirty. Or is there any clean? Um, no, I think I dirtied them up. I dirtied them up in this recipe. But anyway, I use I use the adjustable spoons a lot. I use these as well. Um, I, these do snap together. It's kind of hard to get them sometimes to stay together. But I love this, and I love the the uh, measure alls, the readable. Um, measuring measuring cups i use those as well um but i love um yeah i've got a lot of pampered chef tools i think um i should say my favorite tool and i could say it's a quick cooker which that is the next but i think my favorite of all the garlic press this is my favorite tool i use this whenever it calls for garlic because you don't want to buy minced garlic in the bottle. You want to make it yourself. You you need to put it in here and press it out yourself. It's so much better to get fresh garlic and do that with. This is a, boy, this is the handiest tool to have. Yes, it is. It really is. And I love my garlic press. I use that the most. Now, um, Alexis asked me the other day, what are the three tools that I use the most? Well, that's one of them. That, the measure alls, and the adjustable spoons are the three tools I probably use the most, although I'm starting to use others too. But, um, but I love, but I love that garlic press. Boy, I'll tell you, it gives you a workout. It really does. <laughs> oh, right, right. Um, garlic is so good for you. Um, I think you're probably right, Alexis. Yes, it would be. And, you know, if it weren't for Erlene, I wouldn't even have that garlic press because she got it for me as a gift. 
and bless her heart, she didn't realize how, how valuable that really was. But she can see every time she comes into my periscopes and anything calls for garlic, I'm on it, man. I get that garlic press out, and I won't do anything else but put use the garlic press on the garlic, you know, because it's simple enough. It, it gets it real fine, you know. Of course, like I said, it's a workout. I'm a little bit older, and it's hard sometimes to push put those handles together. But I find if the garlic cloves are too big, then it just cut them down real small because it works better for me that way. Um, yeah, it's, it, it is my favorite also. Um, yep, yep. Yes, I know. The measure alls, I use them all the time. I'm beginning to like the uh, the stackable measuring cups too where they have the measurements on the inside. I'm using those a lot too. But I think I use the measure alls more than I do those because it's real convenient. Um, you know, it's when I first started buying Pampered Chef, I started buying just a few things at a time. And that's what you have to do. You cannot get everything at once because everything is expensive. So it's a, it's a process. Alexis doesn't um, have a lot of the things I have, and I don't have a lot of things that she has. I'm getting um, I'm getting some new stuff coming from the catalog, and I won't tell you what they are because I, when I want to unbox it, I want you to see. But anyway, I have some new stuff coming. But, um, yep, I think you're right. I think everyone has a favorite in their kitchen. Um, I would say of, a, of the um, electronics appliances, I think I would say the quick cooker is my favorite because I use that at least once or twice a week. I use it every week. I'm always finding something to make in the quick cooker because it does it so fast, you know, soups. And I did my um, <clears throat> cheesecake in there. You can make other cakes in there too. <clears throat> I know it is, it is, but we all have our favorites. But like I said, you cannot buy a lot at once. It's you, you gotta start out small and just buy piece by piece by piece. I only have the uh, garlic press because of Erlene, the mixing bowls because of Erlene and the bread bowls um, and the um, the six six piece uh, uh, pots and pans, the, the cookware because Erlene had got it and I got it for half off and I paid her back. Um, Otherwise, I wouldn't have that. And I did buy the 12-inch skillet myself because the 12-inch skillet does not come with the cookware set. I never could figure that one out, but that's the way it is. But anyway, I bought that one. So I've got the 12-inch skillet, and I've got the 8 eight and the 10, and I've got the the uh, pan. I made some saucepan. I made some... I wanted mashed potatoes today for lunch. So I, I got the saucepan out, and I cooked me up some potatoes. And boy, you know those mashed potatoes are good, so I could use... <laughs> I, I'll, I'll tell you what I why I did that. Um, I wanted to use this so bad that I says, well, I'm going to make me some mashed potatoes so I can use this. The mix and masher, that makes a good, good does a good job of mashing your, your potatoes. And I thought, I'm going to use this. So I had some potatoes and some, some vegan food with it and ate that for lunch and then I came in here. Yeah, it is. It really is. <laughs> You're getting hungry. Oh, yeah, well, I wanted to eat my lunch before I came in here because I'm always eating my lunches real late, and I don't think that's such a good idea to eat them real, real late. So I'll have either, either I'll have to start doing my lunch scopes a lot earlier or eating lunch before I come in here, and then whatever I fix will be for the next day or whatever. So I have to start doing a quarterly because I'm get i eating, I'm eating too late, and that's not good either. Is it going, you know, because if I eat something at night, I go to bed on a full stomach, and I don't want that. <laughs> Oh, you're ready to make dinner? Yeah, I figured as much, Alexis. <laughs> I figured you would be. Um, you stay away from rice, potatoes, and bread. That's good. You can do that. Um, oh, to stay slim. I do eat bread, but I eat it sparingly. And I don't eat a lot of rice because rice is an acquired taste in somewhat. Although I, have, I got the jasmine rice. And when I made the rice peel off, that's what I used was the jasmine rice. And it did a real good job of making it in the quick cooker. Um, if, there, if people don't know what the quick cooker is, it's a tool from Pampered Chef. It's the pressure cooker. And you get if you've got the spring and summer catalog, just go look in there for the quick cooker. And you've got it with accessories, $285. Or you get your ceramic pot with the silicone lid. And you also get the uh, <clears throat> your spring form pan, plus you get your steel rack. And your tri and your um, <coughs> cradle trivet. Um, 
You're, uh, yes, I know you're getting one, Arlene. I'm really, I'm really happy. I know you've, you've seen me use mine enough that I think that you've gotten the idea that they're okay to use. It's going to make fast work of your meals, and your family will dearly love it. Everything tastes so good in it, and I know that you use it. At first, I said, well, will I really use it? But you know something? I'm using it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I really am. I'm going to get me some water. Um, I don't like spending money on something that I know I may not use. But boy, the quick cooker, I'm always finding recipes for it. Well, the Instapot. Actually, it's similar to an Instapot. It's just that the, the words are different because there's more programs on your quick cooker than there are the Instapot. But the concept is the same. So any recipes you find for the Instapot will work in the quick cooker. You just have to know the verbiage and get the verbiage right. You know, sear on the quick cooker versus saute on the on the um, Instapot. You have custom on the quick cooker versus manual on the Instant Pot. So you have to, um, hi, good to see you, welcome. Here is my guacamole. There's only five ingredients in here. Very, very simple to make. Um, it goes in the refrigerator before I can really serve it, but I've been eating tortilla chips with it to t to because I wanted to try it. It's so good. Um, oh, you've been watching my YouTubes today? Oh, good, Erlene. Yes. For people that may be wondering, I do have a YouTube channel, and it's under my name, Karen Watterson. So if, there's, if you're interested in watching anything on YouTube, you can, I have a lot of them in there. Um, I try to upload these. As much as I can, I put them in playlists up on on uh, YouTube. I've got special playlists now. My quick cooker recipes will all be under Instant Pot, so don't let that throw you off. I started with Instant Pot, so that's what I'll keep it in. Um, yeah, everyone. <laughs> so, and Alexis just got a YouTube channel, so if you, have, if you have, feel free to check her YouTube channel out. She's only got a couple subscribers, and I'm one of them. I don't know who the other one is. She needs more subscribers. She needs some people to. To uh, back her up, you know, because she will post a few things on there to show you how to use things, which I appreciate that. So I've watched both of her videos that she's had on there, at least the one that she has. But subscribe to, to Alexis's YouTube channel as well. I think mine, I've got something like hmm, over a hundred subscribers. I don't know the exact amount right now, but I've got I've got well over a hundred, something like 135, 140, something like that. And for me, that's good because. It started out slow, but people are, are um, you know, finally recognizing them on there. I'm sure I'll get people on my YouTube channel that are derogatory and make stupid comments in, in, the, uh, in my, my YouTube videos. Well, I just re I either report them or just remove their comments is all I do. I don't say anything to them. I just remove them. Because I had one the other day on one of my religious ones that was con con contradictory, and I just removed it. So he can't, you know, he can't see his comments anymore because they're gone. But, you know, you just do what you have to do. Um, but I do have a, um, a, a channel. I do have a YouTube channel. I also have Instagram, although I don't push that there as much because I don't really go in there that much. Um, I believe that one is Karen Watterson 1948. That's what my Instagram channel is. Um, I, I, I don't go in there as much as I do Facebook because I do have a Facebook page, and that's Karen's Vegan Heaven. So if you want to join that, join my Facebook group. Go in there because we, we post vegan recipes in there. Erlene does and I do. Other ones I hope will eventually post them in there. Um, but at, at, that's what it's called, Karen's Vegan Heaven. And it's because of Alexis that I've got that name. And I'm still trying to get with the uh, link tree. I'll get that up there on link tree eventually. But anyway, um, it's Karen's Vegan Heaven. Um, did you want me to go ahead, Alexis? I don't know if she's still in here, but did you want me to go ahead and change the picture on my page? Because it hadn't been changed as of this morning yet. Um, she still had the Pampered Chef stuff up there because I had a party. I, uh, did you want me to go ahead and change my page? Uh, or are you going to take that and change it? Because you're still admin yet, but I could take you off and I could change the thing myself. Um, okay, I'll go ahead and change it. And I'll remove you as admin for right now. Um, because I know you, I don't know if you had uh, canceled it off from your, but anyway. Um, oh, you need to add a new post? Oh, okay. Well, if you need to add a new post, then I'll, I'll keep you in there for admin for a little bit, and then, I'll, and then I'll take you off. You let me know for sure. 
Um, unless you want to remain admin in there. If you want to remain admin in there, it's not going to be a problem at all, Alexis. Um, so, oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. But I'll leave you for admin for right now, Alexis. If you want, like I said, if you want to remain an admin, you would feel posting in there, go right ahead and post in there. That's fine. Um, but I'm going to go change the picture up. Um, I, I think I'll do that. Instead of changing it, I'll just leave you as admin. That way we have two admins, me and you. So you can feel free to post anything in there that you want. So um, I, I enjoy doing that. I, I, I have something like 250-some members in my vegan Facebook page. And I get a lot of people commenting on the stuff that I post. And they're not as necessarily vegan, but they enjoy seeing what I have to post. Because they want to learn how basically how to use Pampered Chef tools. And that's why Alexis comes on too. Because she wants to show... How to use Pampered Chef tools. You know, use them in your home. And she uses them every day of the week. I love Pampered Chef tools. I start out with just a little bit. And I'm slowly building my thing. I'm never going to get everything in the catalog. That's virtually impossible because <laughs> I don't have little kids. So I won't buy the kids stuff. And a lot of the stuff I wouldn't use. I will tell you this. Alexis is not going to force anybody to buy something that they may not use. Um, if you're not going to use something in the Pampered Chef catalog, but you want it, you're not going to use it, don't get it. Um, when she mentioned the other day when I was trying to open my jar, and I happened to, when I happened to see her comment on the replay of the jar opener, I says, oh yes, I've got to get that jar opener. So Laura reminded me yesterday, she says, mom, did you order the jar opener? I says, oh my goodness, I almost forgot that jar opener. So I had to be sure and open and get that jar opener. Because it'll open up jars for you, you know, because I couldn't get my, my broth jar, the one that I had made my own broth, I couldn't get the jar open for some reason. But I uh, finally got it. But, you know, stuff like, if, I, if I'd have had that, it would come right off. But, you know, I get stuff that I know I'm going to use. Like I said, when I got the quick cooker, I wasn't sure about it. I wasn't sure I was going to use it. But I've used it a lot lately. Um, yeah, I know, Arlene, I've... I know I've seen Alexis use the jar opener. Um, is, it opens about any jar. That's what I, I should have had the other day. But at least that's 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 the only item that you know that's coming. But everything, everything and I won't mention anything else, but that's one of them that I'm getting. But um, get what you... Hi, Tammy. Good to see you. Welcome. Here's my guacamole. Only five ingredients. Um, so only only buy what you know that you're going to use. Because certainly you're not going to use everything that's in that catalog. You have no need for everything that's in that catalog. Me either. Um, I debated on whether to get the rock crock or not. And once I saw Erlene and she posted in my in my messenger that her rock crock broke. I said, well, I'm not sure about that. And, and she's used it hundreds of times that she got a crack in it. And it, she doesn't understand why it broke on her. Well, she's, she's able to replace it with the quick cooker and the accessories. So I think that's great. They were willing to, to let her have the quick cooker and the accessories for, the, for whatever the crock pot is. And she doesn't even have to return the crock pot or the rock pot or rock crock. You know, she doesn't have to return it. You know, that's amazing. But I figure with a quick cooker, I don't need the rock crock anyway. And I've got other things that go in the microwave. So I really don't need that anyway. So I'm foregoing that. But I'm, there's other things I, I'm going to have to probably eventually get later on. Um, yeah, that's where I say their customer service is top notch, Erlene, because they stand behind everything. And if you have a problem with something not working right or it breaks, you just call them and tell them about that and they will, um, exchange it for you or, or replace it with a new one. You know, she didn't want another rock crocker. She had two sets of them. So She'd rather have the quick cooker, and I'm so glad she's going to get it. Um, oh, you take care, and God bless, and you have a great great evening. Thank you, and thank you for coming in. Bye-bye. Um, and I'm so glad when Arlene said that she's she's going to get it because um, I was happy because I know that once she starts using that quick cooker, it's going to be her main tool that she's going to use a lot. Um and, it, and I suggest, Erlene, that you eventually get the seals. I almost forgot those, too, when I was putting things on my list. I started Monday morning writing things down. And as I was going through the catalog, I said, oh, I can't forget the seals because you have two seals coming in the pack, package. 
Um, right, right. And I knew, and I, and there's two seals that, two new seals that, that's in the um, book. You have a black one and, you, and a blue one. Okay, good. There's a black one and a blue one. You use one for savory and one for desserts. Because a lot of people complain that the, uh, their stuff from savory gets into their desserts. You know, the taste of whatever they're fixing is into their desserts. Well, you won't have that to worry about because you just change them out. And they're really easy to change. You just pull it off and put the other one on. If you're going to do a dessert, take the one for savory off and put the dessert one in. That way they'll last a lot longer and you won't have that problem of something going from your savory into your dessert or from your dessert into your savory, which probably wouldn't be too bad, but you really don't want it anyway. Um, so you, you uh, yeah, thank you. I knew that was a bot. But those are some of the main things you got to have. There's a black one and a blue one. And it's up to you to decide which one you want. I think I'm going to use the black one for the savory and I'll use the blue one for dessert. Um, right now, the one that's in, in my, in my thing is, is what come with it. It's a, it's the, just the, the plain one. See, and I, and you can see I've got it in there. I've washed it out and everything and make, make sure it goes below your track. Now this one will stay in here, but when I get the new ones, then I'll start replacing it. Cause this is, it, it's already got a smell. You know, you use it over time and they start getting a smell and it's hard to get rid of that smell no matter how much you wash it. Now I have not done the, uh, the deep cleaning of it yet. Um, I've seen it in the book where you can deep clean it with vinegar. Um, I have to get the book out again. I think deep clean with vinegar and water, I think, something like that, to, to uh, deep clean your lid and deep clean your seal. That would work too. And one thing I like, I found out about these seals, if they stretch out, you just put them in the freezer for maybe a half hour or something. And what they do is they um, contract because we know that heat makes things expand. So your seal is eventually going to get bigger and bigger. Well, you put it in the freezer, that's going to make it contract, and it's going to go down a little smaller, so it'll fit back into your lid like it should. Because if it's too loose, and you can't put it in there, and it, it's too big, you don't want to use it. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Here is my guacamole, Tammy. Doesn't that look good? And it's only got five ingredients. Two avocados, a half a lemon juiced. Um, it's got uh, two tablespoons of onion, a half a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of olive oil. That's all it has in it. Very, very simple. It has to go in the refrigerator for an hour before I can serve it, but I've been eating t tortilla chips with it to see get the taste. Um, yours was a little loose after you washed it. Just go ahead, go ahead, sweetie, and put it, put it in the freezer for a half hour or so, and it'll make it smaller, and it'll fit a little bit better into your pot then, put it on your lid. Um, and that's all you have to do is just put it in, put it in, put it into the, your freezer for a half hour and that'll make it get smaller and it'll, it'll work better. Doesn't it though? I, I like this. I love guacamole anyway. And I said I was going to make this. This is simple to make. Uh, those that, that know about Pampered Chef and have the manual food processor, um, I used the manual food processor to make this. It really did a good job. Um, the manual food processor is ideal. You, of course, you have to use it yourself. You have to do a lot of, um, it works your arms and stuff, but it did a real good gob, gob, job of making the guacamole. Um, yeah, I have another guacamole that I've made with tomatoes. Now, you can put tomatoes in here if you want to. I made it the way it said, but you can put tomatoes in if you want to, maybe some peppers or maybe a little cilantro or parsley or whatever. Um, people said garlic. You could possibly do that if you want to, too. I'm making it just the way it called for right now because I like it like this. So uh, maybe the next time I'll put a little bit of tomato in it. Um, oh, okay. All right, and you have a good day, and thank you for coming in. Good to see you again. Bye-bye, and God bless. But like I said, no recipe is set in stone. Feel free to tweak it to your liking. Make it the way you want. Add to it what you want, you know. Um, and the avocado is the most important thing. I know a lot of people don't care for avocados, but you know, I've learned to like them. They are so good. I put them in salads and I got two ripe ones. It calls for two avocados. So make sure you get them good and ripe, you know, because when I cut mine in half, the pits fell right out. So I, I cut it just right. I use my utility knife. I, this is the utility knife and be careful of this. This is very sharp. I use that to cut them in half 
and I, the pit came right out and I just threw them away. And then I just scooped the, uh, the flesh of the avocado into my manual food processor, scraped it out of the, of the, out of the peel and threw the peeling away and it mixed it up in the manual food processor and you don't see any chunks, nothing whatsoever. It did a real good job and look at the pretty green color. Um, that's just the way guacamole is supposed to look. Um, and I know it's going to taste so good because I've already used a few tortilla chips with it, or one tortilla chip anyway. But it does have to go in the refrigerator. And I'm going to post this up on my Facebook group. For those that may want to join my Facebook group, it's called Karen's Vegan Heaven. Feel free to join that. I also have a YouTube channel, and it's under my name, Karen Watterson. I have all my videos from Periscope into playlists. So feel free to go in there and watch any YouTube video that you want to. And I do that for the simple fact that Periscope, you know, you're only allowed to have 100 in your profile. So they start deleting them. Well, if I put them up on YouTube, not, um, I will say this, not all, not all of them are up there. Most of them are. There's some that I, aren't very good, so I don't put them up there. But the best ones I put up there. So if there's something you want to see and it's not in my profile, you can go on YouTube and it's there. So that's why I do that. Because I do have some people on YouTube that do not come into Periscope at all. Or that used to come into Periscope and they like watching my YouTube videos. Um, oh, not too thick for... Well, see, this has got five ingredients and it's not bad at all. Um, you, can, and you, can, you can try this one if you want to. Um, it's only got five ingredients. Um, you could try it. And like I said, when I post it up on my, on my Facebook page... Uh, and I'll also put this up on YouTube. I'll put this video up on YouTube so people can see how it's made to see if they really want to make it. And I also post the recipe there too. So it's right. It's real, real handy to post the recipe on YouTube as well. Facebook, the same thing. So you know exactly how to make it yourself. Feel free to tweak it to your liking. You can add tomatoes if you want to. You can add garlic if you want to or anything. You're welcome. Anything that you want to add to it, feel free to add to it. Um, does, it looks like Deb's in here. I didn't see you come in, Deb. Here is my uh, guacamole. Um, it, it's really good flavor. I've been enjoying it with a tortilla chip, although it's got to go in the refrigerator and it's got to set up. Um, it's got to get. The well, whole reason for that is you got to chill it and get all the all the uh, you know your flavors melted together. Um, oh, thank you, Deb. Yeah, I know it does, and I love avocado. You know, this is a good vegan dip. Um, I like making them just the way they call for the first time, and maybe when I make it the next time, I'll add it. I'll add maybe a little parsley to it or um, I'll add a little tomato or something. Because you can, I, there was one I made a while back. It was a lot more than this, but it had tomato in it. It was good too. But I thought I'd make this and, and see what this one's like. But anyway, I think I'm going to go for now. Um, so I get this posted up on Facebook. And I, I thank you all for coming in here and being here to support me. Because without you here, I would not be doing this. So I don't have to talk to myself. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow yet. I have to look for a recipe. But, uh, but I will find something that I can do tomorrow when I come in here. So in the, in that being said, in the meantime, why vegan? Because I do not eat meat. I do not eat cheese. I do not drink dairy milk. Because um, that stuff is not good for you. And I don't eat eggs at all. Um, if you want to call me a health reformer, that's basically what I am. More of a health reformer. Um, I have, have I been, have I been over two years and I've lost well over 50 pounds just by doing that, by eating properly, going on a, a, a plant-based diet, basically being vegan and going on a plant-based diet and I've lost over 50 pounds. So, and it, I didn't put it on overnight and it took me a while to get it off, but I'm very happy with the results and I just keep on going. Anyway, I'm going to go for now. Um. No, sh oh, absolutely no shrimp. They're bottom feeders. We can't have any shrimp. Cannot have any shrimp at all. I'm like, this is a bot. Let me get this off of here. Let me get this off of here. Um, somebody missed that. Somebody's been missing my uh, bot. That I'll get that. In. Um, no, um, bot. The shrimp's bottom feeders. Um, so we don't eat anything like that. Um, <laughs> potato's not a bottom feeder. Oh my goodness. No, I don't know what you mean. A potato's a vegetable. Um, that is a, that's an odd question to ask a potato about, about. No, I can eat plenty of potatoes. Oh my goodness. No, I meant the, I meant the, the, the shrimp or bottom feeders in the ocean. That's what I meant. Not that, 
That I should have I should have clarified what I meant. They're bottom feeders. They they're scavenge. They they're scavengers, and they eat on the bottom of the ocean. We don't we don't eat that kind of stuff. I don't like the taste of it anyway. So I don't eat it. I don't eat any meat. I don't drink any dairy milk. I don't eat any dairy cheese. I don't eat any fish of any kind. It, I make my own stuff. It's all plant based, and I, I'm healthier for it. I feel better, and I've I've lost weight because of it. Anyway, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go. And be prepared to what to for me to come on tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna gonna do yet. I haven't decided um, until I maybe look for another recipe. But that being said, I hope that your the rest of your day goes great. And thank you everyone for coming in, live viewers as well as the replay viewers. And I'm gonna let you see this. I'm gonna hold this up here. Bye. And I'm gonna let this be the final picture. Um, let me put this down so it'll be the final picture. Get my other stuff out of here. But anyway. Um, so I hope that your, your, your evening goes great, and I hope you, you take care. God bless. Bye-bye, and until we meet again, love you all. Bye-bye.